Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Team Aquascape. We're back here in Naperville. It's Monday, and so I'm super optimistic about where we need to get by the end of the day, but we have plenty of obstacles. It looks like there could be some rain. We've got a water truck coming today to get some clean water in here. If we can get the waterfall built this week, I think I'd be in a super happy place, because tomorrow I gotta pull off. Tomorrow I gotta film some stuff at Wasco Nursery for a really cool thing we're doing. Tomorrow I also have to film a pandemonium presentation, which talks a little bit about law game and then most importantly a winter seminars seminar series we're doing on designing water features which has never been done before we've done a lot of stuff on sales not a whole lot of stuff specifically on design i also am leaving this week to branson missouri i'm heading over branson missouri for a consultation a possible potential customer wants a large water feature on at his lake house so i'm gonna fly out there i'm gonna meet up with my good friend jack harju from atlantis water gardens and we'll get that thing taken care of so we've got this project we have filming, we have water trucks, we have waterfalls, we have Ransom, Missouri, and whatever the heck Chris Hansen is up to. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Sun is shining, it's a Monday morning. I hear the beep of a truck behind me. We've got another crew over here. Oh, I love when things are just busy. Cause when it's busy, it means things are getting done. And this week we're hoping to get a lot done out here in our Naperville project. I gotta introduce you to Franco and Billy. They've come in from Texas and the Philadelphia area to come out and help us. We were out last week together at Laura's from Garden Answers. Super cool project. They knew they were gonna fly home with me and come out here. We've got a lot going on. Let me show you kind of where we're at with this whole thing and what we're hoping to get accomplished this week and then like always let's see what's up with chris i know chris has got all kinds of stuff we've got some stuff to fix there's all kinds of things going on so we'll definitely tune in with chris all right here's what we got going on though all right so you guys have seen these pictures before we're starting to fill in our planter over here because on a wednesday or thursday of this week we're actually going to start bringing some plants out and it's really just some of the bigger trees not all the perennials and stuff but we wanted to get some of our big trees in here use this machine to dig some of the whole for that kind of stuff because once we get up into here and start doing that little mini plunge pool type area we're gonna cut off all access from the street over there so we wanted to get some of this stuff in here i can't wait to show you what this looks like now and then what it's gonna look like with three big evergreens in there we've got some other deciduous trees kind of popped in here and there i think there's a purple beach going in over here i think there's some more evergreens over there by franco <laughs> coral bark maple that's the franco tree of choice they just don't do well here and for some reason, he doesn't listen to me. But uh, <laughs> we've got that going on. The guys are back here fixing a wall. I think it was our fault. We put in some drainage and drainage undermined it a bunch of the brick. And then you can see how much that wall is leaning. So they got to come in here, shave all that stuff down, which is a total pain in the butt. Reestablish the base. But look at how much that thing started leaning. And it was really because of our drainage trap over here. So we'll move this wall forward a little bit, get it further away from the drainage. We'll get all that fixed. And then we're really going to concentrate if we can get to the point where where I can really start focusing on this waterfall. This looks a little messy right now. There's another big rock going in between here is the spill stone. I'm definitely gonna need a huge rock right in here to kind of help scale this down. And I think some big rocks back that way so this doesn't look so monolithic. That's the word I'm looking for. Then we can come in, start piecing the rest of this together in through here, get the water level established for the pool back behind it, and then dig that pool. We've got a dry stream bed I kind of want to do over this way. The big reason I want to do the dry stream bed is it's so nice not necessary for any functional part of the pond at all. But when I look through Perry's window here, his office, and I look back this way, if I didn't have a dry stream bed that kind of came from these two rocks and wound back this way, we would be forced to landscape all this. The landscape is gonna end up blocking the view, that rock right there, which we're gonna have a waterfall coming off of. If I do a dry stream bed through here, it opens up the line of sight right to that rock. So that dry stream bed is gonna have to curve this way and then kind of come like that. So we'll try to get that roughed in and then of course some big boulders set in through here a lot a lot a lot to do this week so like always it's gonna be a fun hack filled episode we've got this project we got stuff that chris is working on there's stuff going on in the retail store i'm gonna introduce you to billy and franco i want you to check out some of their projects that they've been done before make sure you go check out their pages too and give them a big shout out all right guys hang on tight here we go fun week ahead of us What's up, 
everybody? It is Chris from Team Aquascape. Holy cow, it is a bright, beautiful, sunny day. We are on an amazing property right now. It was a water feature that we cleaned out this spring and they having water quality and clarity issues for the last number of years as the fish load has increased over time. The fish have gotten bigger, they've added fish, that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to be adding a wetland filter onto this beautiful ecosystem pond. This is one of those gorgeous water gardens that we always talk about in our videos and that you guys are so accustomed to seeing. Let me turn the camera on and show you what we're up to. All right, so here is that ecosystem pond. This is a pond we cleaned about three and a half months ago. They have a old classic biofalls over there. You can see it's very, very well hidden back in there. We rebuilt that little waterfalls. It was kind of falling apart and dilapidated. We did that while we were here, but you can see they have in a bunch of very large fish for a relatively small pond. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take that non-functioning stream that goes all the way back up to a biofalls over there. We're gonna demo all of that and we're gonna dig a wetland filter back in this area over here and have it be almost like a spring fed look. So bog filter back over there. That's going to be, you know, the liver of the system. That's going to help maintain that pristine water quality. And also very importantly, the water clarity that Michelle, the homeowner is looking for and give these Finn friends a nice home to live in. All right, we got some stuff done. You can see how great that looks. You guys saw that rock swinging in up and over. This looks great. The key is I want a little bit of broken stuff on the top of this rock. And the reason we want that, when I say broken stuff, like you see these little chips here, this little weird divot here, this imperfection here, even some of these ripples back in here are really important because when I want this water to come over, as much as I want that sheet of water coming down, I don't want that sheet of water to be transparent. If this area was one smooth rock, literally when that water came over, it would be like a piece of glass and you'd be able to see through it. And I'm not super excited ever about layering all this stone to get that. I would have loved this to be just one big rock, but we didn't have that. So I was forced kind of step up to get to this point in here. With this all broken up in here, instead of this being a transparent sheet of water, there'll be a lot more oxygen mixed through it, which will give it a little bit more white water look, hiding than ultimately all of this stuff back in here. I think what we're gonna do is take advantage of this big crack right in here, try to get water to come back around there, and then really just ooze out of this. What I don't wanna see is this rock shoot water out like that. It'll just look silly. So if we can just get this where it's just kind of wet, that'd be great. There's also another opportunity, and these things are never planned. We just kind of look for them. There's a gap right in here, so it's easy enough for me to seal this up, get a rock back in here. I want to keep it kind of low down in here. I don't want to bring this rock up to the same level as that because the higher I bring this means the higher this edge has to be. If I can keep this down low so there's almost a drop back down into here, lower than this liner edge, stays really, really high. But we'll do a drop back down in here, down into here, and then another drop, and then so on and so on. And getting this little fall, dropping there, dropping here and then coming back down through here will add a, so much more character. It's gonna be a pretty simple waterfall right here. It's a lot of extra work for me to do this, but the view from the kitchen window, which will be the only place you ever see that waterfall, will be kind of like an added bonus for our customers here. Today, I'm looking to kind of button this whole section up so we can start pulling out of this part of the yard. We're gonna do this dry stream bed. Talked before about why I wanna do the dry stream bed. The dry stream bed aesthetically looks great, but more importantly, we'll keep a consistent line of sight open from the window there all the way over into here. We were playing around with this boulder here. We originally had this rock out in front of this one, hiding kind of that little notch in there. And when we did that, I went and sat down at our customer's desk over there and I could only see part of this stone. I only saw about that much of the stone over that way. By bringing this stone, once I sat inside, taking the stone from here, just sat like that kind of, and moving it back over to here, it opened up the view to that stone. And I really, really want them to be able to see a waterfall from inside the office. And now we're gonna come in here, do this dry stream bed that kind of winds through here. Nothing can be planted in the dry stream bed, which will always lead us basically a line of sight straight to that rock. It also gives them a little shortcut if they want to walk from the patio. All right, let's get on the dry stream bed. All right, so we've got Steve, Forrest, Noah, Levi, Josh, and myself, six men out here. And we are going to be putting that wetland filter, like I said earlier in this area and through here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and take out all these beautiful perennials to salvage them and replant them at the end of the day. So what we're gonna do is get all of these, the Coreopsis, the Coral Bell, the Hostas, some of this ground cover out. We're gonna try and move this juniper and save it. Once we get those out, then what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll remove all of these aqua blue boulders, make a pile back over there. Once we do that, we'll rip out all the gravel, liner, all that stuff will save. A lot of this decorative gravel, the biofall 
valve is coming out. We'll save any lights that are over here, but that wetland filter will end up over in this area in through here. We've got 12 small aqua blocks and snorkel centipede, and we got about a 20 by 20 liner. What I'd love to do, if possible, is create a little waterfall. Looks like we have a little bit of elevation change going down in there. Otherwise, we'll end up seaming that waterfall back over behind where Noah's at. So we've got our work cut out for us today. It's all hand work because there is no machine access. We've got, I don't know, about a 75 to 80 foot run of just wheelbarrow width access. So we're going to be hand digging. A lot of the dirt will stay on site. We'll just see what the quality of it is. But like I said, the dirt will stay on site. So will most of the boulders. Anything that we have left over, we'll take back with us after we're done creating a messed up beef. It's Monday morning. Jack is back. Jack was on a much needed vacation last week. Not sure what those are, but <laughs> he took a vacation last week. He could tell he's bouncing around all over the place around here. So he's probably missing it, loving how far we got. And our usuals out here, we got Daniel and Tyler down here cleaning this, getting ready for that water truck coming in. We got Chris Z sitting in the back, fueling up all the machines. It's going to be a day of go, 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 go. What I really want to focus on though is that waterfall. So we're going to work on this waterfall and then I want to talk to you about Chris Z because Chris Z threw me for a big loop. Let's go find him real quick. All right, we got Jack and Chris up here digging back behind this big rock. As you see that liner over there, it's gonna overlap this one. We'll show you guys that in a second, but they have to dig back behind the rock just so we can get the liners tucked back behind it. The dirt has gotten packed up so tight against it, there's no way we can get in there. Oh, they're working on that. I'm coming over here and working on this waterfall. So this was a pretty simple waterfall. Big frame rock, big frame rock, spill stone in the middle. One of our rules is try to build a waterfall out of the fewest stones possible, but I don't wanna just see a sheet. If we have the opportunity to do a little bit more more with this we are so we've got this crack right in here and i'm debating on letting water come through that or not i'm terrified that water in the winter is going to get in there crack that thing even further causing that to bust up so i'm sealing it with our structure bond which should hold it in place it holds patios together brick walls and stuff together pretty good you can see down in there that yellow stuff then i'm sealing up this waterfall the other thing i've got the opportunity to do is you guys can see how this waterfall comes this way it also gives me the opportunity to bring something through here so i've gone ahead and built a little drop there. I've got another little drop there. So I should get a drop that comes out of this down into a pool there. Another drop that comes out of this, come this way, and then I'll build another drop out of here. So I'm gonna work on kind of foaming all that stuff up and sealing that way. They're tucking this stuff together once they get that tucked. I'm working on this, they're getting that. Hopefully that all makes sense. Maybe it'll make more sense when we turn it on, which unfortunately isn't for like a week or so. But I thought it was important to show you right now. Right, so Steve just got attacked by a bee. So he's okay. I'm good. He's okay, folks. I'm living. So here's where we're at. We've got the stream torn apart. We're still gonna pull out that biofalls. We have to move a couple of those boulders, get that out of there. We'll use the rest of these boulders as a small little retaining wall along this plant edge here. But this is the footprint for our wetland filter. So you can see we've got a three small aqua block by four small aqua block footprint. Snorkel centipede is gonna run this way. Snorkel will sit right here. The plumbing is going to insert up high over the liner here, go down into that centipede and fill up that centipede and then well up and perform the upflow that we're looking for. The plumbing is gonna run all the way around the backside of the berm. We are going to put another pump in the skimmer, which is located way back over between those two sets of irises. We're gonna dig this first, get this all set. And while this is getting rocked in, we'll have another guy or two start running all that plumbing and getting all that stuff figured out. Now it's time to start digging. So normally we'd wanna have like 16 small aqua blocks on a larger pond when we're doing a full centipede snorkel setup. However, the size of this pond really doesn't warrant that many small aqua blocks. Um, and we're kind of tight on space over here. We've got a 20 by 20 liner, which is more than enough liner, but she really wanted to shrink the footprint of this here in the wetland. So we're gonna opt to go with 12, which is more than enough biofiltration for that. Plus we have the 2,500 biofalls back on the backside of that potted plant over there. So more than enough filtration, but this will be a great bell or, or whistle added onto this pond to help maintain that from pristine water quality and clarity. So we're gonna get going digging. We'll pull these panels out and start getting rid of dirt. truck is here. This is great. We are flushing this baby out. This is an idea where like two of the pumps would look like, I guess. We 
use these water trucks all the time, especially when we have 3,000 gallon tank, probably another 3,000 gallons in through here. And then we're gonna fill up a pool yet up on top here. So we have a lot to go. Again, without that, without that access road, I don't think this could happen because you only had 300 feet of hose. So that truck holds 6,000 gallons of water to give us a pretty good idea how full this thing is gonna be. All right, guys, I told you I would get you a picture and a video from inside the house. And I know we've got some boards of all of this, so I can't wait to show you the befores and what it used to be out here. Because remember, this used to be all grass. No trees, no plants, nothing. And we still have a ways to go, but look at how impressive this is. So from the desk here, you look out. <laughs> see that waterfall right there off of that rock. I love that you can see the bridge. I love that you can see the stream. Come over here, you can see this staircase kind of coming and like disappearing back around. We'll have his own little patio set up over in here. We obviously still have a lot of rock work to do in that space. And again, this whole thing was designed from inside the house. I love the way that dry stream bed looks as you're sitting down in these chairs. Like what an incredible view. And then we come around this way towards the kitchen and all of these windows give us different views. What really is starting to look like just a big rock bluff. I often like to say, I like, I want to make it look like the water feature was always there and then the house was designed. I remember we get that big tall fall there. This is going to still be bouncing around. Plants, plants, plants. Every window gives you a different perspective. <laughs> you guys are as excited as I am to see this thing finished. I actually love working out here. It's so much fun. Every day is inspiring, but when this thing is running, I can't wait to show you what it looks like. All right, so here it is. We have the aqua blocks in. Then we have our layer of cobbles. These are like, a, I don't know, a mixture of four to maybe eight to 10 inch cobbles. Next, you can see we are laying down our inch and a half bog gravel or pond mix as some places call it. But the beauty of this is we layer the initial layer on top of the aqua blocks are gonna be that bigger cobble. It's gonna have a little bit more interstitial space, which is the space between. And then we're gonna size down to an inch and a half gravel. And then we'll do another lift of some smaller gravel on top of that. We're just about ready to start bringing all that gravel in that we have. We'll go ahead and layer this up. We'll get our seam done. I'm draining the pond down a little bit just to help make sure that we get this seam done. It's not all wet. We're not working underwater or anything like that. So we're going to clean this area up, put down some primer, some double-sided tape, then attach the bog liner to the streamliner. Then we'll run another piece of cover tape over the top, and then we will start rocking in this section in through here. So we've got a little bit of work just to get that done. And then this should go relatively quickly. We've got the liner kind of pulled back in a lot of areas, but uh, we're going to use all those aqua blues in and around here. We will also use some along this backside to help help retain this berm that we have going in through here. We've got some dirt work left to do. We've got to run our plumbing down into the wetland and then we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get rolling and get this thing rocking. Getting ready to plant our arbs in here. Gonna really change the way this feels. You can already see some stuff back in there. Matt had the great idea of doing more of like a serpentine thing. So look at how we're doing this. Instead of digging one plant, then another, then another, then another, we're gonna set one, get it straight, and then basically almost go ball the ball with these things as far as we can. We have 10 of those guys to get an idea of what that looks like when we're all fit. Almost the finished planter, but look at how it already disguises Jack's truck, so you're not even thinking about it. We're gonna need a few more to disguise mine. But <laughs> did this serpentine type thing, you can kind of see it from over here. This allows us some planting areas in through here, but just look at how the feeling in here is so different. We've already got some benches out, some little pots, playing around with some different plants. Room here for some more stuff to just kind of hang over. We continued the same arbs outside, making it look like it just kind of jumped the wall, and then we came in through here you can see just the feel of like these big guys here are gonna be awesome those will all fill in together it's just looking so good well we fired up the waterfall but you guys are gonna have to wait till next week to see what that looks like it was stunning so next week we'll show you what this all looks like what all that bib lining and everything did i will tell you what it looks violent <laughs> especially this side over in here super aggressive <laughs> well we did it we had to enlist a little bit more help levi wrapped up his day early and made the mistake of calling and ask him if we need help and I definitely took him up on the offer. So he's just cleaning up this back edge. But when you see cleanup happening, you can assure yourself of one thing, we are wrapped on this project. It turned out absolutely incredible. But here is that wetland filter. We got 12 small aqua blocks. Our snorkel centipede is underneath that grouping of cobbles there, but it just looks so awesome. Very, very nice stream. I wanted to put a couple of these low flat rocks right in here, just for Michelle or husband. Uh, they have grandkids. I know they have a couple older kids, but just stuff for some interactivity to happen.
happen right above water, just like kind of these informal steps leading you through this wetland filter. And then here is that little waterfalls stream area where we did the seam. The seam actually runs right underneath this area and through here. We cut a little ridge of soil and then went straight down just behind there. So our aqua blocks actually come to about there. There's a little ridge of soil. And the reason we have that ridge of soil is to hold as much water in this wetland filter as we can when the pump is turned off. Water murked up a little bit just from the sediment and debris from the rock and gravel that we used to put in here. But that will clear up over the next couple days. We upgraded the pump to a five to nine. And now we are splitting between that waterfalls there and then our biofalls. So we've got only about 2,000 gallons per hour, maybe a little bit more there and probably another five. We've got the pump cranked down, but it looks absolutely beautiful. All right, Billy, it's Friday. We've been together for almost two weeks. Two weeks full, now. A full, two, full weeks. two weeks. Yeah. We started out in Idaho at Laura from Garden Answers. You guys make sure you check that out on YouTube. It's unbelievable. I've never got the chance to work just one-on-one -on -one with Billy. It was so much fun. Billy's got unbelievable vision. And what was so refreshing is to work with somebody that kind of shared the same vision. I totally trusted you. Me sitting in the machine and your eyes down here on this area. Yeah, in fact, good. let's go down there and show them yeah, what yeah, we let's did. Go check yeah. it out. Billy, we're standing down in an area. We really started like way over here. So we built this dry stream bed back and through here, which is great. We did all of this retaining wall work in through here. We did these stone steps over here and then come back down into what, what do we call this? Harry's like hideaway? Harry's Cove. Harry's Cove. <laughs> Harry's Cove. It doesn't look like much right now, right? It just looks like a bunch of rocks. But go stand next to that big tall yeah, rock because there's no way this does it justice. I mean, it is a monster boulder right there. We really did all of this just today from, yeah, from over this, here, uh, over into here. This is going to be great. Billy, what was your favorite part about being out here I besides think? besides the heat and the rooms at Aqualand? Well, like, <laughs> just, like you said, I like working one-on-one -on -one today and just, yeah. you know, feeling more confident with you allowing me to get down here and kind of seeing your vision. We talk about it and then grab the rock and, you know, set it in there and then just really place the rocks with you today. I think yeah. that was the best part. I love these stairs. Uh, that rock over there is awesome. The stairs, how you go up and then you're going to, you know, create mystery. You're going to make that curve and then talking about the rocks that you're going to do is outcroppings. I can yeah. already see exactly how the path is going to turn and I can't wait to see the, the end project. Well, Billy, this was awesome having you out here. I'm going to take you through, give you guys a quick review of everything we got done. But Billy, if they want to see more of your work, where's the best place for them to go? You can go Facebook, Brothers Water Gardens. I just started a YouTube channel on Instagram and it's Brothers Water Gardens awesome. as well. Billy, thanks so much for your help. Yes, sir. You're the man. Woo! That was a long week. Yeah. Not really. It actually, it actually went by super fast. It did. It started slow and I was like, oh, we still got four days left. Oh, we got three days left. Well, we've been together much longer than that. We started out in Idaho at Garden Answers. I asked you out there, like, hey, you want to continue to work out in Chicago? You made a split second decision yep. and you're here. Any regrets? The humidity. <laughs> it was pretty hot those first couple of days. But look what we've created. Like all of those plants back there, right there, 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 all put in by you. This looks incredible over there. And then when we look at where we started, Started at that waterfall all the way over there and all the rock all the way past his office. Got you guys did some stone steps back behind us over here. We did some, I think we finished up a step over there. All the edging, foaming of this waterfall, the gravel in the stream, like a lot got done. Yeah, you don't you don't realize it until you step back now and you're like, oh yeah, we did that. Oh yeah, we put those steps in. <laughs> I mean, you say I did it, but you guys got a hell of a team here. And there's, yeah. uh, those guys, David, other Chris and- Other Chris. <laughs> other Tyler. Chris and Tyler, yeah. uh, they're, they're awesome. And they, they listen to you and uh, they're teachable, which is great. So what, you, what are you looking forward most to coming back and seeing? Like, what's the one section you really want to see running? To be honest with you, I'm looking forward to just the walkthrough yeah. and the discovery because I'm not going to get to see the pool built, yeah. the plunge pool built. I'm not going to get to see what that planting looks like as it's getting built. So it's kind of a tease, like, you know what to expect. So when I come here, this is going to look completely different. But really, I want to see when there's other two or three pumps yeah. rushing through here <laughs> and what that looks like coming down. If people want to see you, where do they go and find you? You can follow me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram at The Garden Nation. That's Garden Nation with one end in between. And I will be having a YouTube channel starting up shortly. Right now, it's called The Garden Nation. Awesome. So well, dude, stay tuned and check it travels. out. Thanks so much for coming out here. It was Man, awesome working with you. Well, it is about two and a half days later from finishing this wetland filter install that we wrapped up. And I just wanted to come back and see. Water was a little stirred up when we left. So I wanted to come back about 48, eh, a little over 48 hours later and just kind of see if this wetland filter is doing its job. So I have not seen it yet. Why don't we, let's do this together, shall we? Oh my gosh.
looks outstanding. Look at how clear that water is. The fish looks so happy. Holy cow, there's that cool little waterfall. We rebuilt that this spring or we did the spring clean out. But you can see she has some beautiful fish, but enormous ones as well. And for a little 2,500 bio falls, and it's just not gonna quite cut it for these gorgeous, gorgeous monster thing, friends. Absolutely spectacular. And then there is that wetland filter nestled into the backside of the water feature. Oh, beautiful. Love these kind of flat stones, able to walk on the snorkel. That's gonna be the clean out port where we drop our clean out pump and we'll rinse all of this wetland filter down. But you can see there's no longer that square shape, very organic, the sheet water. I love how it kind of comes in and out here and all the way around. I love these kind of flat aqua blues. I love that this rock right here is just barely out of water, but it has water all the way around it. Very, very cool. Birds will love to just kind of perch here, then hop over to the dry spot on that rock, so on and so forth. But just a cool little entrance into the pond and it looks absolutely beautiful. So what an awesome week back at that Naperville job. It felt so good to get back home, continue to work with Billy from Brothers Water Gardens, Franco from out in the Philadelphia area. They were a huge blessing and helped get so, so much done. I am loving this project. I can't wait to show you more and more and more about this project. I'm hoping it's finished up in the next two weeks. And how about Chris Hansen putting that wetland filter on that project? We love adding more enjoyment to that aquascape lifestyle. And I I know with a 100% certainty, increasing that filtration with that wetland filter is gonna bring that tired pond, that underfiltered pond to new life. So you guys are probably wondering where I'm at right now. I'll tell you where we're at. I'm in the studio at Aquascape and I'm getting ready to Fill my Pondemonium presentation. What is Pondemonium? Pondemonium is a collective group of professional pond builders all coming together to learn, 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 learn. And I'm about ready to start filming my presentation. This year, Pondemonium is online and I have a 30, 45 minute, hour and a half presentation, whatever it's gonna be, however long it takes, all about my wins and losses of 2023, morale on our team, how we boosted morale, how we've changed the morale, why I now have a new energy around vlogging because I'm not a big fan of doing this kind of stuff, but how I've changed my energy around it and how successful it's been. And then of course, I wanna announce the artist of the year and all the regional artists of the year. So I'm here getting ready to do that. Can't wait to share with you guys at some point. And for those of you who don't know, and if you're not signed up for Pondemonium, signed up. Just go to pondemonium.com. It's August 25th. Just get online, join in the classes you wanna see. Greg's gonna be there, Ed's gonna be there, I'm gonna be there, Jeff's gonna be there, Dave Kelly with new product development stuff is gonna be there. Pondemonium.com. We'll see you August 25th. For the rest of you that can't wait till August 25th, we'll see you next week because we're gonna do this again and again and again. Can't wait to show you more of that Naperville project. And of course, Chris is gonna have more stuff to share. I've got stuff to share. Rango and Billy have left. It's a crazy week next week. See you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Pound that subscribe button and the like and everything else. Bye.